Are you looking for a dish cleaning brush with a liquid soap dispenser? We have this one right here that our friends had whenever we went and visited them in Florida. And we were like, that thing is cool. I think I wanna check that thing out. And that was about two years ago. So I wanna give you guys a two year review of this thing right here. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have. So if you're interested in that, you might wanna consider clicking that subscribe button. There's actually the uh, something that we need inside this box as well that goes with this that I think you guys might already know what it is. But to get into this review, we have, uh, this is the handle right here. As you can see, there's no brush head on it. And that's because I we bought a, a used grill recently and the guy who sold it to us forgot to clean out like his little grease pan thing. And so I took this thing and I was over the sink trying to scrub that thing out and the brush thing got real nasty on it. And so uh, we had to get a new one of those. But the way this thing works is you open up this little part right here and you can put your dish soap into here and then whenever it's closed, it seals it up nicely. You have your brush head, the scrubber heads right, right here, be like right there. And so um, whenever you're washing dishes, you can just push, you hear that sound? That sound uh, pushes the soap out and then you have soap while you're scrubbing. Works really well. I really like that part about it. it even has this little, hole right here if you do want to hang it over your sink or something like that but it comes with this little guy right here this is the bottom part of it and the idea behind this is that after you're done doing your dishes you put the scrub brush back into here and then whenever you have your brush thing on here all the water's dripping down it drips down into this little hole right here you'll see that little i guess it's kind of a big hole and the idea is that your dirty water from the brush goes down into here it fills up the bottom container but then there's this little outpour, y'all see that right there? This little outpour right here, so the water drains like into your sink or whatever, or something like that whenever it gets too full. It's great, I, in theory, I think it's a good idea, but the problem is that this thing just collects all the nastiness down in here. If you guys wanna check this thing out too, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, but my experience is that this thing gets all nasty down here, and so you pouring it out and you're like, ugh. That was just sitting in there. And then so you open it up and you realize like how nasty the inside of this thing can get. So one solution for that, if you do wanna go along with this whole setup that they have here, is that since this comes apart, you can just simply put this, whoop, dripping water everywhere. <laughs> you can just simply put that into the dishwasher because it's all plastic. And so uh, you shouldn't have any issues um, with that. but. Uh, the the nastiness of it kind of really got to us and we didn't like it like whenever it gets full like dripping out of the sink and all that type of stuff so um there is a a, a brush holder that we got actually i reviewed one here on the channel before and it was a brush holder that kind of like sat on the in-between of the sink but this handle is so fat that whenever you put it down into there one it stops at this big bubble thing right here and two whenever you go to pick it up the whole thing just kind of flops off so in a future video coming up soon so make sure to click that subscribe button i'm going to discuss the uh the, the holder that we're going to get for our sink i want to do a little showing uh, open unboxing and install of it for you guys. But um, th so this is a decent setup for that. I kind of wish that they had something better for this here. But I opened up this box here because I wanted to show you guys that they have, where is it, this one right here. They have, another cool thing that I like this is that whenever the brush head needs to be changed, you don't have to get uh, a whole new setup here. You can order, this is made by Good Grips, by the way, the XOXO Good Grips. Um, and so you can just put these back onto your, look, let me just open it up here. The soap dispensing dish brush refills. And this one came in a little two pack. I'll link this up down in the description below as well if you guys wanna check this out. But basically it just slides right on into here and it kind of clicks in place right here. And then you can just pull this back whenever you wanna change it out. Another thing about this too is that this whole thing can go into the dishwasher as well once you've used up all your dish soap in there, something you might wanna consider. And then you'll notice on the middle of that 
brush head right there, there's a little hole right there, and that's the little hole that the dish soap comes through. So um, whenever you do this, you kind of have to have a little bit of patience whenever you push your dish soap through because it may get caught up on the bristles way down in there, so you may want to push a little bit and scrub a little more. Uh, that way you get uh, the soap onto the thing that you're actually cleaning. But this is super simple to slide on as I fail at it. <laughs> And then another nice thing about these brush heads is that it has this nice edge right here. Can y'all see that? Yeah, see how it kind of swoops down below? And this is great so that you can, if you need to scrape something off that's kind of stuck on there, usually it's cheese in our family. <laughs> uh, that works really well at getting that, especially as uh, you, with a newer one, obviously. The older ones are gonna have more wear and tear, they're gonna get broken down and whatnot, but this right here, this setup right here, is a good little uh, dish cleaning uh, brush with the liquid soap dispenser in there that works really well. Like I said, it's made by the OXO brand, the Good Grips OXO. I never know what the name of this company is. Um, but like I said, I'll link it all up down in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. It's nylon bristles, uh, scraper on the back of brush easily removes baked on food, I can attest to that. Bristles and scraper are safe for non-stick cookware. Oh, I didn't even realize that. And then use with soap dispensing dish brush. Oh look, that's the model number. If you guys need like the part numbers and model numbers for all that, y'all can pause the video right there. That There's three of them right there you guys can uh, check out. So if you guys wanna check this out, like I said, I'll link it up down in the description below and you guys can actually, come on, let's go. Let me show you guys how to fill this thing real quick. Actually, I don't think, I think we're out of dish liquid right now, but we do have the hand washing stuff that we found. But uh, the way this works is you just kind of put it in here and it just kind of falls down into the tube right there. This is obviously going to take way longer than I expected. But once you get some in there and you seal it, you have the air in the top part where the your hand would be and then uh, the pressure of it just pushes it down. See, I'm going to put that there. And then I'm gonna do this over the sink so you guys can see. I wanna, I'm curious to know, I've never done this before. I'm curious to see how it actually falls out. Y'all ready? Whoa, <laughs> I did not expect that. That thing like shoots out. That was amazing. I think I got it all in the sink. So I, was, I thought it just kind of dribbled out from my last experience. Maybe they made that hole a little bit bigger or maybe some junk got in the old one that I didn't realize. So now, whenever you're going to clean something, you can just simply take this, give a little scrub, just a little, you know, you have your water on here and whatnot, then add a little bit of that and then mix it up. And then you got your soap and bubbles. Nope, I didn't do it hard enough. There we go. Now you got your soap and bubbles cleaning it up and then this is still good there's still plenty on there so you can move on to your next got this bowl right here just cleaning it up there's still some suds already on there i might add a little more just like that no need to pick up that other dish uh thing and go i can just get it all right here so i really like this little setup right here like i said I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it, not just take my word for it. Just one guy literally checking it out for the first, not for the first time, for the past two years with you guys. And uh, I told my wife wanted to get a different one just because she didn't like the whole residue and whatnot and a little basin and all that. I was like, no, no, no. We just need to find like a sink rack thing that we can put that thing in. That way the dribbles dribble down into the sink and not into that nasty basin thing. So for the past two years, she, she bought a new one and I said, no, I want that one back. So we're going to get that one again. And so uh, we found the replacement heads and it's been great ever since. What kind of scrub brush do you guys use down in the comments below? I'd be curious to know. And what kind of dish liquid stuff do you guys use? I really, I think Dawn works really well and it doesn't have like a, some of them have a funny smell. Don't, do you guys agree with me on that? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys want to see some of the other kitchen products that we've used here, actually I did a video where actually we cleaned our toilet with muriatic acid. We have a, like a hard mineral buildup. If you guys want to watch that video, I'm going to put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see you on that video. There's some other kitchen gadgets down here. Thank you all for watching. That thumbs up is appreciated and dad out.